your weather authority forecast. Sponsored by Current Electrical, your Generac Superstore. Welcome back on this Sunday morning. Still tracking a few light rain showers moving across portions of North Alabama, mainly in DeKalb County. A few of those back in Jackson County around section. Now moving into Sylvania, Rainsville, Five Peaks Corner, Dogtown, and Mount Vernon. Seeing some light rain showers right now. The rest of the Tennessee Valley, we are pretty much dry with the exception of northern Lincoln County. We're seeing a few of those light showers pushing off towards the south and east as we go through the next couple of minutes. Wouldn't be surprised if you get a few sprinkles north of the Fayetteville area. Temperatures right now sitting in the 40s this morning. We're at 40 in Florence, 41 in Huntsville and Scottsboro, 39 in Fort Payne, 37 in Albertville, 39 in Coleman, 42 in Decatur. Culvert Heights seeing some of that cloud cover starting to clear out already out towards the west. So that is some good news if you're looking for some sunshine, especially over in Florence Harbor, seeing a little bit of that sunshine. But around the Huntsville area, around Athens, Decatur, and then over to northeast Alabama, this is what you're going to see stepping out the door the cloud cover in place, some breezy conditions at the Veterans Memorial Park in downtown Huntsville. If you're going to spend some time out on your patio today, some of those clouds are going to stick around through a bulk of the day. By the time we get to the afternoon, they're going to start thinning out. Temperatures coming up into the upper 40s by 5 o'clock this evening. We'll still be in those mid 40s and then we'll see those temperature or see the clouds starting to thin out even more as we head into the evening hours and overnight tonight. Your future cast. Let's talk about what's coming our way. Monday evening, another system that's going to start developing out towards the west, bringing some heavy rainfall to the Tennessee Valley Monday night into early Tuesday morning. But it's not just the rain that we have to worry about. It's the wind too. The wind's going to get pretty gusty. Sustained winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour. Gusts upwards of 50 miles an hour possible. That could lead to some tree branches across the area being snapped onto some power lines. So some isolated power outages are not out of the question with this system coming up. Let's talk about how high some of these winds could gust as we go into Monday night. Look at this. We're getting upwards of 50 miles an hour as we go into Tuesday morning. This is midnight on Tuesday and we could see in excess of 40 mile an hour wind gusts as we go through Tuesday morning. So things are going to get windy. Think about where your trash can is. Think about where your trampoline is. Get those things secured before we get to Monday night because those winds are going to start picking up Monday evening into Monday night into Tuesday morning across the Tennessee Valley and then the rain chances come Best rain chances coming into the early morning hours on Tuesday. We'll get a break from the rain Wednesday and Thursday over on Sand Mountain. Temperatures generally in the 50s for daytime highs. Another system comes our way at the end of the work week into the weekend. That's going to bring some more rain showers. The shoals, you are also going to see the rain pushing in late Monday evening through the morning hours on Tuesday. It gets really windy. We're talking about wind gusts in excess of 40 miles an hour. Temperatures in the 50s for daytime highs. Our next shot at rain coming by the weekend. The Huntsville metro area, you are also going to have the rain showers pushing on in as early as Monday evening and then through the morning hours on Tuesday. Next shot of rain coming by the weekend.